What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ashley aka Pretty Hippie and I'm back with another video. So guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm just going to be sharing with you all my 40 week self-care pregnancy routine. As you guys know, it's time for me to get ready to deliver this baby and I'm doing all that I can to stay calm stay focused stay grounded so I can have a smooth delivery I'm really excited to share with you guys the things that have been keeping me calm and looking forward to the big day so as you can see here I'm just lighting incense I am really big on smells especially during this pregnancy smells have been making me sick my entire pregnancy so it's always nice to have that incense aroma going throughout the house now I'm just sitting on my birthing ball, lighting my sage, letting the aroma permeate the atmosphere, clearing myself of all negative energy and negative thoughts, thinking good thoughts and just imagining myself at peace while I'm in labor. This technique really helps me to stay calm and focus on the mission here, guys. I know labor and delivery can be quite scary as we all may know, but you really have to keep yourself and your mind clear and just focus on the positive aspects of giving birth. Here I'm just doing some body movements to loosen up my body. They say you should do these exercises on the birthing ball at least 30 minutes a day. So I'm just kind of rocking back and forth, going in a circle motion to loosen my pelvic area and engage the baby's head down in the pelvic area to encourage dilation. Now I'm 40 weeks and I still haven't dilated any yet, so I'm just kind of waiting hoping to go into labor any day now but until then i'll just keep doing these exercises and try not to stress too much Guys, this is my favorite part of my self-care routine, which is my face and body care. And I will be using all of Da Butters products today, guys. Thank you so much, Da Butters, for sponsoring this video. As you can see, she has so many wonderful products, and I cannot wait to show you all how I use them. So I'm just gonna start by steaming my face, opening up my pores. And this is especially good for pregnant mamas that have that, you know, mucus all up in your nose all the time. You always have a stuffy nose due to pregnancy. This helps clear that out as well. So I'm gonna start with the Heartbeat Loofah Soap to wash and exfoliate my face. This soap actually comes with a loofah in it. It's really cool. So if you need to exfoliate, this is the perfect soap for you. And beets are super, super good for your skin. It also has a vitamin C, which you all know I am a vitamin C advocate. That's what I use in my daily facial routine. So yeah, this soap is really great and it definitely brightens the skin.
So next I'm gonna go in with the vitamin C raw sugar scrub. This scrub is amazing. It has a dried orange in it and like I'm all here for that. Like, <laughs> well, anyway, I'm just gonna put it all over my face and exfoliate my skin. Now the reason I'm exfoliating again is because once again, it's vitamin C and I could not resist. And also it has like all the natural oils in it. So like, it's perfect like when you want to exfoliate and have a bright and more even skin tone and then still have that glossy glow from the oils that you just put in your face y'all get what I'm saying I use it on my lips and you'll see in the video later I even use it on my body like I love 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 sugar scrubs especially vitamin C sugar scrubs <laughs> So next I'm going to use this Wet Roses Facial Toner and it's infused with natural and fresh roses and it's pure and perfect for moisturizing and toning your face. Guys, this toner is amazing. I can feel like the oils being like set in my face. This toner has vitamin E in it as well, which is really, really, really good for your skin and it just left like a cooling sensation on my skin. You know after exfoliating now it's just time to bring my face down to you know level cool or whatnot and it's amazing and keep in mind all of her products are 100% natural 100% handmade in Atlanta Georgia and I'll leave all of the info in the description box where you can purchase some of these products when I say they're amazing I'm not exaggerating So now that my toner is dry, I'm going to go in with facial in a bottle and just apply it all over my skin. This oil is so good. Like it sits right in your skin. It's not too loose. It's not too thick. Like it's perfect and it doesn't leave like this really oily residue on your face. So now I'm just going to go in with an organic lip oil. They come in lavender gold or rose gold. So I'm just going in with the lavender since I am winding down after all. These lip oils are composed of natural flower buds and 24 karat edible gold and they promote soft and hydrated lips. So now I'm just going to make my red raspberry leaf tea. I've been drinking this tea since about 37 weeks of pregnancy and it's recommended that you drink it during your third trimester because it may strengthen the uterine walls and decrease labor time. So I definitely include drinking my tea in my self-care routine and also it's just really nice to have like a cup of tea, you know, it's just kind of soothing. So now I'm just going to prepare for my favorite time, soaking in the bathtub. This really helps 
stay calm stay at peace you know just uh you guys know how it is when we take a soak in the bathtub and just light your candles and you know just just relax and get into that zone so for my bubble bath i'm going to use liquid black soap from the butter the fragrance is tropic storm and it smells like a tropic storm it smells really good and i'm just gonna go in and light my candles and i have my crystals around my tub to create that zen atmosphere you know crystals have different meanings for different things i've explained some of my previous videos but I'm definitely setting the mood here. I'm adding the Yoni bath soak to my water. This smells amazing as well. I cannot stress to you all how these products really create a zen atmosphere and just put you all the way in the mood. I'm going to use the Keep Calm Conditioning Soap Bar. After all, we are trying to keep calm, so this soap is perfect. It's extremely moisturizing and conditioning for your skin. The fragrance is definitely, definitely relaxing. You can even use this soap without water and just use like the surface oils from the bar to moisturize your skin, guys. How cool is that? So now I'm just going back in with the vitamin C scrub that I used at the beginning of the video to exfoliate my skin. And definitely don't want to leave out my belly. Stretch marks are inevitable for me because my stomach is so big that I am going to get stretch marks. However, I have been using scrubs and oils and you know, all that jazz on my stomach because my skin is so itchy. It's always nice to just go in and exfoliate my stomach, you know, kind of help the itch and also add moisture to it. So after my bath soap, guys, I am so feeling like a golden goddess, as you can see here. <laughs> I am definitely feeling calm, relaxed, at peace, just happy, and just overall like, ah, uh, this feels great. And that's why it's so important to do these self-care routines, especially being pregnant.
Now I'm just gonna go in with the all natural butter cream collection in the scent lemongrass. When I say this butter glides on your skin, as you can see, it is amazing. It's just soft, it's buttery, it smells really good. And lemon and citrus scents have been agreeing with my nose lately. Like I can't really take a lot of fragrance, but this is perfect. Like it literally smells like lemongrass essential oil. So to seal the deal, I'm just going to go in with this Willow Rose Body Oil and apply it all over my skin. I love this oil because it's light, it glides on your skin, and it also has like a very natural floral scent to it. And it reminds me of my grandmother because she loved flowers, roses, you know, and it just kind of, you know, puts me to sleep in her presence almost. So that's why I decided to top off my skincare routine with the willow rose oil So last but not least guys, we're going to go in with the stimulation hair growth oil from the butters as well. And you know I couldn't leave out the hair, like pregnancy definitely, definitely takes a toll on your hair. Sometimes you neglect it, you know, sometimes it gets dry and brittle, it grows, it does all this weird stuff, which I'll make a separate video on the effects of pregnancy on my locks later. But this oil really does feel good on the scalp. You can tell it's working because once you feel that tingle, you know, something's happening. So it smells really good. It's all natural. Um, it has rosemary in it and it stimulates hair growth. And that's what we want, right? So I'm just going to apply this oil all over my scalp.
and hopefully the next time you guys hear from me i will have a baby in my arms i am 40 weeks and do any day now so send some positive vibes my way guys i'll keep you guys updated when my little one gets here much love as always thanks for the support so that's pretty much it for this video guys i really hoped you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you enjoyed my videos why not subscribe to my channel and as always world peace what do you want to do with those uh, I can give it to mommy. okay Oh, thank you. That was fine. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here, Ashley. Solar. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Get your stuff and let's bounce. Okay, and let's go too. Alright, show, show the camera. My baby gave me these toys to keep me company while I relax. How sweet. You're still in diapers. Alright.